Did you know that socks, tees, and underwear are the top requested clothing items in homeless shelters? Well, Bombas is doing something about it by creating incredibly comfy essentials and donating one for each one purchase. That's right. Bombas one purchase equals one donated mission has helped donate over 100 million clothing items to people facing homelessness. The comfort geniuses at Bombas make your everyday things your favorite things. I'm telling you, their socks are my favorite socks of all time. I just got a whole new order for Chip because he's on his feet all day long moving and grooving and you gotta have that arch support. Bombas makes the comfiest socks and you not only feel good wearing them, you feel good because they donate one forward. Plus, if you're worried about the wrong size, Bombas offers hassle-free returns with their 100% happiness guarantee. Ready to get comfy and give back? Well, head over to bombas.com slash TMGW and use code TMGW for 20% off your first purchase. Give it a shot. They're going to be your new favorite socks and your new favorite way to help people in need. This might get weird. Are we rolling? We're rolling. Well, then cheers, Grace Helbig. Cheers, memory heart. Hello, and welcome back to another episode. I just waved. I've never waved <laughs> as a camera before. <laughs> because I, episode. I awkwardly launched into a jingle, and you needed something to do besides just stare at me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you went full parade. Oh, man. It's weird. It's weird energy today. We okay. were just saying weird energy. I feel like I've been in weird energy for about a week. Yeah. What's the planets do, Grace? What's what them what planets, the, what them be, planets doing? be doing? I don't even know what they're up to right now. Really? I haven't. Che- I've been. Well, I was looking at just my own horoscopes for like February and that sort of thing. Okay, um, what's, what's on the docket? But I immediately forget everything. Oh, they damn it! <laughs> I think it was a lot of stuff about heart, leading from the heart, checking in with my heart. Am I the heart? H A R T. Oh my God! There you go. Are you okay? I got to check in with you. I am. <laughs> I'm, I'm very lethargic with energy lately. Yeah, me too. But that's mostly because I just have radiation beams no, <laughs> see, pointed at me every day. This is the thing about having a best friend who's recovering from cancer mm-hmm. is when you are like, man, I feel lazy. I'm like, but not as, la- but you're allowed to be because you're going through <laughs> cancer. I'm just a lazy fuck. No, it's so funny though, because I'll be like, man, why am I have no energy? And then I'm like, last night I ate a box of mac and cheese and fell asleep on the couch. Yeah. Not exactly leading with my healthiest foot at the moment. Oh man, that's what I'm trying to figure out. That obviously food makes, food is fuel. Mm-hmm. And I'm trying to figure out like how now when I'm trying to be a human again, do I feed myself correctly? And yeah. there are just there's just so much information out there. There's so much info. It's so overwhelming. I'm starting with spinach. That's how I'm starting. Good for you. <laughs> yeah. Now are you a cooked spinach or a raw spinach girl? Smoothies with spinach in it. That's what we've been doing. We've been wow. I mean, when I hyperfixate, I hyperfixate. Okay. And so we have been doing these smoothies every morning. Break lately. it down for me. What well, we well, got in them. Elliot's got a different one than I do because he likes frozen peaches. I don't. Isn't that Whoa, wild? Whoa, a I house know. divided. Yeah, and I didn't realize how much I didn't like peaches until I started making... You don't like it. peaches at all? I don't. Look, they're not terrible, but I do not know what it is about them that it just does not hook me. Here's the like, thing. Like, I like an apple. I like a pear. Mm. I like a banana. I don't like a peach. Do you like a nectarine? Fine, but not my fave. Okay, because here's what I'll say. Yeah. I would never... Oh, in a million you years... You just gagged. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> the idea of peach fuzz on my front teeth... Mm-hmm makes me want to honestly knock my own teeth out with a rock yeah well now that the chemo's over i feel like the peach fuzz on my face has come in much stronger (laughs) you're a little peach yeah also my armpit hair started growing back oh not to turn from peaches and how gentle of you hair, but it is soft and curly now it is oh. wild and i forgot about it till i went to radiation today and i put my robe on i was like oh shit my armpit hair is growing back Good well they're gonna see full pits full out there pits. i was shaving my armpits the other day do you ever okay i, oh, get, I forgot about my smoothies yeah i want to get back to the smoothies <laughs> but do you ever like are you ever shaving this and you see a hair and you're like have you escaped the blade f- for your years. whole life? Yeah. Well, here's the deal. I haven't had to shave That's for true. like six months and it's been awesome. That's incredible. Like, I get why all those reality stars do laser away <laughs> all the time. Jeez. So I'm like, man, to have pits that you don't have to do anything to and they just are smooth every day incredible however i do have one hair under Mm. my chin that's a dark hair yeah dark black hair Uh that occasionally grows until i notice it and i pull it out but i do not know what that one 
is from, nor nope. do I know what it's capable of. Like, if I just let it go, how, how long, well, long would it do go? Do you remember that from the Rosie O'Donnell show? No. Rosie had a chin hair uh, and she <laughs> let it go <gasps> and would straight up put a bead on it at the end. Mm. And like... <laughs> That, really? That, Unless that, I absolutely <laughs> made this up as a child. That is a crazy. Look up Rosie O'Donnell show chin hair. Okay. Hold on. I have to know if I made this up. Yeah. And if so, what was going on in my county's water? But no, I, I don't have that anymore. Uh-huh. But I had that happen to me a couple of times. And I have a distinct memory, Grace. Yeah. Of Do you remember when Rain Wilson had that like feel good web series? Yeah, Soul Pancake. Soul Pancake. Yeah. I was going to go film an episode for him where I played like, you know, like, <laughs> do you see Rosie O'Donnell's <laughs> chin hair? Reddit. Uh, it says, uh, what is this in response to? Oh, Rosie O'Donnell chin hair picture. When Rosie O'Donnell had her own show, there was an episode where she grew her one chin hair really long and attached a bead to it. My <laughs> sister and I swear this happened, <laughs> but no one else seems to remember it. Oh, my God. I need looking the, for I need confirmation. The info. Looking for confirmation that this happened, it or happened. even a picture. It and happened. There's five comments that say all of these are posts by people just mentioning it. It's not as exciting as a video, but you can rest easy knowing someone else has witnessed it. Did she scrub so, the internet of it? Yeah. Someone said, "Oh my gosh, I can't find it either." Apparently, nine years after this post, still. Wait, this post was posted nine years ago. Oh no, this post was posted eleven years ago. Someone asking for confirmation that this chin hair happened. It had to. I mean, it happened. And I'm glad that I can be of comfort to them. Oh, this is someone says, okay, uh, it did happen. I remember so vividly and my mom was grossed out. Other one I remember (laughs) is when Tom Cruise was talking about a movie stunt helicopter, maybe something like that. And he said to Rosie O'Donnell, I don't know if it could handle that much weight. And she was like, he called me fat. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) <laughs> um okay so anyway chin hair yeah i'm uh, i'm in my car mm-hmm. about to go in to film my episode of soul pancake yes and i go what the hell is that <laughs> <laughs> and i had a chin hair it hasn't come back since wow i had a chin hair and it was dark and it was yeah, right there that's what i like had. i was like a little like the pig yeah like the pig and and so I was like, oh, God. So, you know, when you try to pull a hair and, and it's it? slipping. Yeah. I was late for the shoot because I be like, I got on my phone and was like near a CVS. Oh, my and went God. And bought up. What are those called? Pluckers? Tweezers. 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 Yeah, and came back and I was like, sorry, I'm late, guys. Traffic. <laughs> it was like, no, I was 10 minutes early. I just had I found a chin hair. And you're doing probably a sketch about like inner beauty or something. Oh, it was it was about like not judging people because <laughs> you when you have money or something. Uh, anyway. Like OK, peaches. OK, so Elliot smoothie. Yeah. He, he found the recipe and he sent it to me. Uh, and I was like, OK, this is what you want. I'll do it. Spinach. Frozen peaches, little bit of ginger, little bit of lemon juice, uh, then protein, vanilla protein powder. Vanilla with spinach. I know. It's crazy. And it's so ginger. good. And then coconut water. And then mine is spinach, frozen strawberries, bananas, protein powder, and coconut water. Wow. And it's honestly really good, but I don't know if I trust my taste buds to recommend something flavorful right. to someone else at this current point time true true here's the thing Mm -hmm. is that i enjoy a dark leafy green so much yeah that i would just assume have like a small salad of it rather than like i don't need to sneak in my greens yeah i mean you know what i mean i feel like you normally eat a lot of vegetables normally so no i even i did roasted broccoli with my whole box of mac and cheese there you go see yeah i feel like you are always seeking out vegetables and i'm very much or have been just plates of beige so now i'm trying Mm. to incorporate color and having the spinach first thing in the morning i'm like look at me go look at you go there i'm I'm proud of you i need to do it more i'm I'm trying i'm trying because now my schedule is that I go to radiation every day. I know. It's Tell wild. the people how it's going. It's going really well. It's like going to a YMCA. You like go, you give them your little card. They, I have a little card with a scan oh, uh, barcode on QR-D it. Oh, the QRD Yeah, code? like my membership card. And then you go you, to the uh, cabinets. You grab a fresh robe. 
and then you oh. go get changed in a little thing. There's lockers if you need to put your stuff in a locker. But okay. I've just done the Grace Helbig thing of bringing a big bag and carrying all of my stuff with me everywhere. <laughs> Why don't you trust the locker? Because here's the thing. Okay. There's so many little details of remembering, okay, I have to give them this card. And then they give you a Cheesecake Factory buzzer that you yes. wait. So then you take the buzzer and then you get a little key for the locker. And, I, and then you have to go back and sit in this other chair. And then you give them this card. And it was just like... Too many little things that I was like, I'm going to forget and leave like my shit here one day or Do you like think they the think key. you think it's a sketchy radiation center. No, think I like, think why everyone, doesn't she trust us? I think everyone's pretty busy with some other <laughs> thoughts in that place. Um, but it's really today, like all of the radiologists are so nice. And I'm sure it's I forget all of their names immediately. I wish I could remember them. And now I'm a little too nervous to obviously it's been five sessions to yeah. ask them what their names are. There's one guy in particular that's like so nice and upbeat. And like on Friday, they're like, what are you doing this weekend? And I was like, I'm going down the Palm Springs. My parents are down there. And they're like, oh, that's nice. And then on Monday morning, they're like, how was Palm Springs? And I'm like, okay. oh, my God, they remembered. But they have uh, they play this like very gentle music that sounds like spa music. Ooh. And I was going in today being like, I like the music you guys play. And they're like, it's the only CD we have. CD? Yeah. And they pointed and there's just a little CD player on a ledge. They're like, this room doesn't have an auxiliary cord outlet. So uh, this is what we play. And I was like. As I'm laying in the most modern machine I've yeah. ever experienced in my you life. You can shoot there's lasers <laughs> into yeah. specific areas of my body. Yeah, and but then we don't there's have just chimes cord. coming from this old uh, CD player on the side of the room. Grace, I have a suggestion. I'm, I'm thinking of getting them a Get CD. Get them a couple CDs. I know. I As Googled. like a thank you at your last session or whatever, be like, Literally, hey guys, I have a tab open CDs. on my computer. Where can I buy CDs? <laughs> <laughs> you know where you can buy? I mean, there's a CD there's a CD store in, in my neighborhood. Uh, just up the block, there's CDs. Um, really? There are, but I think it's probably going to be like, you know, cool old hip hop CDs. I think yeah. you need to go on and be like, spa CDs. Right. That's I want to get them like lo-fi beats, even though I hear lo-fi beats are out and like some other beats are in this year what? or something. No, I, I just started getting into lo-fi beats. I love lo-fi beats. Elliot plays lo-fi covers like lo-fi beats that are like pop music that's what covers. i do too yeah it's really nice that's my go-to it, it's called like well i'll do lo-fi beats or i'll do um pop goes classical nice <laughs> nice um which is fun but also i, I keep them because yeah. here's here's my whole vibe right now okay mm -hmm. uh, outside of falling asleep after mac and cheese and not putting on anything but sweatpants recently excellent i want my beats low mm -hmm. and my pants high High waisted pants. Recently got some new high waisted pants. I nice. got sucked in to my first ever <laughs> yeah. TikTok shop purchase. <gasps> what does that mean? You click the link on the TikTok? You know how <laughs> on the Instagram mm -hmm. you can like go to people's store? Yeah. Uh, on TikTok, it all gets uploaded to like the same shop. Yeah, I've seen the thing where it's like you can create a storefront or something. And I'm yeah. like, I don't know. I bought to some do pants. That? Nice. How are they? You know what? They're sized wrong. Okay. <laughs> the number, they say, uh, honey, I ain't a medium. See? You know what I mean? But we'll get there. We'll get there. Now you need to take a picture of yourself and leave a comment uh, or leave no, a review. I will <laughs> never be I will never be picture of myself review. And you know what? If I were to, yeah. sure as hell wouldn't be full body. Sure as hell wouldn't be face. Right. It'd be neck down. Yeah. 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 You yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Covering the any discernible tattoos and features. <laughs> Yeah. You guys know that I am a comfort queen, especially when it comes to bras and underwear. And that is why I love Skims. Skims has changed the game in comfort when it comes to bras and underwear. Skims is creating the next generation of underwear and bras for every Buddy. I have their wireless form t-shirt bra. I have their no-show unlined demi bra. I have their weightless scoop bra. And they are all so comfortable. And this is 
coming from a woman who is very, very into comforting her breast area, if you know what I mean. Skims bras are made with innovative technology to give you the best shape and support. Plus, every bra is designed with the comfiest and softest materials, so you'll feel like you're wearing nothing at all. That's what it feels like. Skims offers a complete system of bra solutions for every need and every style. Skims bras are available now in 62 sizes, 30A through 46 H. So believe the hype. Skims has over 100,000 five-star reviews for a reason. Skims bras are now available at skims.com. Plus, get free shipping on orders over $75. If you haven't yet, be sure to let them know that we sent you. After you place your order, you select podcast in the survey and select our show in the drop-down menu that follows. Let them know that we sent you. And if you are looking for a gift for your Valentine or for yourself, Skims just launched their best valentine's shop ever also available at skims.com y'all it happens to the best of us okay your friend comes over you're having a friday night in you're having a couple drinks and then he convinces you to download a new streaming service so you can watch a go-go dancer competition little do you know you you never cancel your free trial and you've been paying that thing for two years what in the absolute heck well luckily you find it because you use Rocket Money, okay? Rocket Money is incredible. Do you know how many streaming services and auto pays you've got going on that you probably have no idea? Well, Rocket Money can find out for you and they can either help lower the price and you know, they can negotiate for you or they cancel it, okay? You send them in there like a bunch of bodyguards, like your streaming platform bodyguard, and they will cancel it for you, no questions asked. Okay, a little bit about Rocket Money. Rocket Money is a personal finance app that finds and cancels your unwanted subscriptions, monitors your spending, and helps lower your bills. I can see everything, all of my subscriptions in one place, and if I see something I don't want, I can cancel it with a tap. Oh yeah, baby, tap it out. I never have to get on my phone with customer service, which is absolute nightmare fuel. They even try to get you a refund for the last couple of months of wasted money and negotiate to lower your bills for you by up to 20%. All you got to do is take a picture of your bill and Rocket Money takes care of the rest. I'm telling you, my new best friend. Well, actually, Rocket Money is a lot of people's best friends because they have over 5 million users and has helped save its members an average of $720 a year with over 500 million in canceled subscriptions. Wouldn't you like to spend $720 on something else this year instead of... A streaming service with a go-go competition that you never watched again. So stop wasting money on things you don't use. Cancel your unwanted subscriptions by going to rocketmoney.com slash TMGW. That's rocketmoney.com slash TMGW. Rocketmoney.com slash TMGW. Um, so Grace, I have a headache. Okay. Yeah. And I'm going to tell you why. And you know why. I okay. know. I know exactly why. Okay. It's the Joann's Fabrics checkout line. <gasps> Let me the, tell you. The Joanne Fabrics around the corner from you that I have also frequented, yeah. that purchasing system, they got to figure that out. It's rough. <laughs> it's tough. It's rough. First of there's all. There's either no one in line or there's 35 people in line. Grace, <laughs> I started to text you. There is one register open and 30 women in line yeah. at this Joanne Fabrics, so we might have to start 15 minutes late. Uh, and then I was like, you know what? We're not podcasting for an hour. Don't already push it like you always do by 15 minutes. So anyway, I went to Joanne's Fabrics because we have the, um, is it Joanne Fabrics or Joanne's Fabrics? I don't know. Why. Does it belong to Joanne? Do the fabrics belong to Joanne? Joanne's Fabrics or Joanne? Or is that her last name? Is it Joanne Fabrics or <laughs> Joanne's Fabric? Joanne. Uh, is it possessive? Joanne Fabrics. Joanne Fabric and Crafts. Okay, there we go. So anyway, hmm. I went yeah. because we have the second half of my cookbook photo shoot next week. Right. And I wanted to go look at their, um, I needed some, I needed some silks. You know Excellent. what? Not to be a spoiler, but I needed some silks. I think that's a really great, tiny, tiny spoiler for the aesthetic of the book. The book is, you know, like a the music video Creep by TLC. Nice. Um, Whoa, so, we have an aerial there's, there's a helicopter there's a helicopter right coming nearby is, you guys i don't think can hear it I, I don't think you can hear it but it sounds like oh, the whoa. earth is farting today's the day today's um, the day hi guys yeah hopefully hopefully um uh, an outlaw doesn't jump over my fence right now <laughs> yeah. and sit down to be a guest um anyway so i went and i was getting some fabrics for mm -hmm. the book and i i got two different fabrics right yeah. and you know how they do they'll 
they do the yard mm-hmm. they pop it out yes. then they z- then they ring it up and then they give you the thing for you to pay up front yes so i was like oh perfect and then i remembered i was like i need to get um a couple paint brushes to paint something immediately lost the ticket oh no oh no <laughs> retraced my steps see this is why i bring one big bag with all yep, of my things i in get it. it i get it retraced my steps and could not find it yeah by the time i get back there there's like five people in line and they are like to get their fabrics done oh yeah yeah. and you can't skip a line because no. those women Mm-mm. are i mean they you'll get stabbed with a knitting needle yeah yeah it's serious business forget it yeah you know this there was a woman in a hot pink blazer who was like three feet tall and she looked at me like yeah she was the grandma from dinosaurs well, you know like they need this they need this you know that i mean i get it i've gone to craft stores feeling like i need this craft right now yeah <laughs> like, yeah yeah I this is therapy something <laughs> yeah. you don't cut in line in therapy so i had to get my little ticket rang up and so i finally get into line the cacophony of smells. <laughs> yeah, that place is <sighs> dusty. <laughs> and there's a lot of odor going on there. Yeah, I haven't been in a while. And that just uh, confirmed for me that it was a good move not to go while I, nausea was on the table for me. Oh, you would have never survived. Yeah. Grace, you are smack dab in a line of, of elderly women who love perfume. Yeah, of course. You know, the like the last little, you know, pit stop before you get to the register when they're trying to sell you everything it's just every candle they couldn't sell yeah yeah it's every strange candy yeah that like i'm talking like fudge (laughs) (laughs) yeah yeah it's like a fudge pop for fourth of july and you're like who wants this or like uh you know like a chocolate covered coconut mound that like looks like old timey i don't think like gonna, gold rush coins yeah i'm gonna say this i don't think craft stores need to sell anything edible i think there's plenty of other okay. stores that do that well and that they don't need to get into that market well that's the thing is you would think because it's the same at michael's and stuff too yeah where it's like you would think that that last little bit is because they know that like moms are bringing their kids there mm-hmm. but then it'll be like jujubes and sugar babies and it'll be like kids don't want this <laughs> this is they are really playing to like yeah 90 year old women who thought that candy was discontinued absolutely so anyway i'm between the candles and the everything and yeah. i was just like immediate headache yeah yeah and i knew it yeah. and i knew what it was it, at least you know where it's from the um yeah i gotta go to joanne's again that store sometimes looks like it's been ravaged girl there were you know the like um how they'll have the um plastic bags that where you put like caramel corn in it's like a yeah. big carrot shape yeah they had some of those that looked like santa mm-hmm. and they just had like um pink sugar in the bottom of it yeah and i took a picture of it yeah. i went on patreon and then i looked closer and it was being sold as cotton candy what? that's how old it was <laughs> <laughs> it was like a tablespoon of sugar in the bottom that had disintegrated nice so anyway nice. joanne oh i gotta go yeah i gotta check it out um i also got my port out last week <gasps> yes this is a big huge milestone in the cancer treatment process uh so my right arm is still insanely sore, sore. today oh god um, were you really nervous so nervous because you're a wide awake when they're doing it so they you put your arm out to the side he puts some like stuff around it and yeah he just and he puts uh, lidocaine in but he put two things of lidocaine in and at one point i was like "Ooh!" he's like you feel something i was like i certainly do and he's like okay let me give you more lidocaine i was like please do and then so the port is like this little um nano pet kind of thing mm-hmm. i vaguely remember i was it's so weird full circle because one it was the same doctor that put in my port taking it out it's just it's the port crazy. it's just the port guy and he has a cadence that's like um norm mcdonald which Love just it. like is so funny to me but he's not even trying but he's a very he's chatty which i appreciate it because i took an ativan before i went to have it done um so i was like i'm not gonna be good at small talk but he'll just keep on going mm-hmm. uh and he was and it was in the same room that I was in to choose which nano pet I wanted in my arm. Wait, which, you get to choose like yeah, a color? There was one. One was like bigger than the other, I think. And I forget what I chose. Um, Why would someone want a bigger one? I don't it, like it, there was something beneficial about the way it hooked up to the system. Oh, OK, OK. That feels like that was 10 years ago mm-hmm. at this point. But he one, he was very funny because he was like telling me about how um, 
he used to work delivering babies and he was always worried he's gonna drop the baby he was constantly worried that baby was like because he's like they're slimy when they come i just saw a clip (gasps) when uh, no the baby did not fall okay but like you know i still occasionally go on twitter i'm sorry x whatever yeah it's mental habit i'm sorry i'm sorry i I just want to apologize i do it sometimes i check every hashtag for a reality show that there we go but you know when you go on and automatically you'll go to like suggested not following yeah and then all of a sudden it'll be like i don't want to see a fight (laughs) yeah yeah, i'm like who am i following that posts fights yeah there was one and it was like a baby and then they like almost freaking dropped it like caught it by the foot and put it back up on the, like right oh when it was newborn God. and i was like jesus those are slippery little suckers well it story checks out because okay. this doctor that now works uh taking ports out used to deliver babies <sighs> and was afraid that he'd drop them but terrifying he took my port out and then he goes do you want to see it <gasps> oh my god and i said absolutely not really but thank you there's i don't want to see it at all and then after <gasps> i said no I was like, should I have seen it? Is that like, I, I, cause I, cause the other weird thing. You should have handed, could he have taken a picture of it for you? Right. Like you didn't need to see it in person, well, but then you could have gone. Right. Quick. Cause I was like, then I was, after I said no, like immediately I said no before I even realized the words were coming out of my mouth. And then I kept thinking like, I kind of want to see what it looks like, but I don't want to see it gross. Cause then I'll get like freaked out and start spiraling. And my arm still like, hasn't been sewn up yet. So, Oh like, my God. Like, oh, heal, 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 heal. Yeah. I am yeah. freaking out right well, now. Well, the man. crazy thing is that I remember when I got my first biopsy, the doctor that did that, uh, who I've never seen again, she one was like, where, uh, where I'm doing the biopsy is where I had right. cancer five years ago. And then after she did the biopsy, she said, you want to see him? And before I could even answer, she's like showing me this little vial of what looks like just like dust in a vial. I don't know, whatever the samples were. But is that like that must be a doctor thing of like, do you want to see it? I mean, I guess they're just so desensitized. Okay, here's my question about the port, though. Yeah, yeah. Do they recycle them or did they throw it away? Could you have taken it home? I said, what do you guys do with those things when you're done? And he was like, no, they're a biohazard. So we have to uh, dispose of them properly. I was like, okay, that's actually good to hear. Now, there are some people who like take home their kidney stones, right? That's what I was trying to like. I was like, just uh, people get to take them home. And he's like, no, because they're a biohazard. So like, it's not lawfully we can't like let someone just take this home with them because Because i've had chemo in my body specifically so it could like it could spread yeah well it's just like that yeah because even like after i got chemo every time i got my infusions done they were like don't use the same bathroom as your husband right because yeah stuff's going on in your body is it happening (laughs) wow yeah so like a lot of stuff's been happening this week which is uh pretty cool and crazy you got smooth we got smoothies going in yeah ports coming out and got to see my parents again this weekend yes. had a lovely time with them which i don't think i said this on the podcast but you showed me so we made this joke with my mom that she borrowed one of our hats down there which was ended up being my hat and then i gave it to her because she wore it so much because she really liked it that she looked like diane keaton with this hat on i feel like your mom has such like a whimsical little vibe she's always given me diane mm-hmm. keaton vibes well, she was telling me that shop owners in downtown Palm Springs were telling her that she looked like Diane Keaton. And that's how it started. What an absolute amazing compliment to receive. Right. And then you send me a DM of a photo of Diane Keaton at the Long Island Medium show that we went to in Palm Springs. Diane Keaton was at the same Teresa Caputo show at Agua Caliente what? the night you were. That doesn't, that's wild to me. So and crazy. I don't know what it means. Well, <laughs> two things. One, I love, I could see Diane Keaton openly weeping at one of those. She yeah. seems like such a sensitive soul. Yes, yes. And two. And like in that photo, she looks ecstatic to ecstatic. meet this woman. She's a huge Caputo fan. Yeah. <laughs> and two, it makes me hope that diane keaton spends a lot of time in palm springs and we run into her right that's what i was thinking that's i was hoping that maybe uh we bop around and and see her downtown somewhere but uh really really fun got to see them off really sweet time they like all good parents do came and helped us take care of all the house things. y'all are heating broke <laughs> tis the season oh my god we're having to get the whole damn thing when you just got the whole damn thing fixed in your own house yeah there's something going this on this is some adult shit they don't warn you about mm-hmm. that is absolute crap when all of a sudden <laughs> one day you're living fine and then two seconds later they're like oh you basically have to buy a used car yeah but it's for no fun yeah 
Yep, yep, yep. But yep. it's for something that's no fun at all. But man, my stepdad really helped us figure out these heating systems. <laughs> he really did. And then I and then I had to call and say, Do you give a veteran's discount? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that that I didn't, that barely works. They it were worked. asking everyone for veteran discounts on all the stuff that they did on Palm Springs. Um, sorry, I yeah. just remembered our nectarine talk. Yes, back to the nectarines back and to peaches. Nectarines. Here's the thing. Yeah, is I the idea of peach fuzz touching my teeth grosses me the frig out. Yep. Um, but nectarines, mm-hmm. and I mean like a rock solid hmm. nectarine. I when is nectarine season? I buy every time I go into the grocery store and I eat it immediately. Wow. Okay. I love a nectarine. It's the same stone fruit family or a hard plum. I ate a plum like two days ago. So a nectarine isn't. Okay. I was. It's less sweet. It looks like a peach. Yeah. It looks like a peach without the fuzz. Oh, okay. It's like a, it's like a peach. I was picturing an orange. It's a peach if it lost its fuzz. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. You were picturing an orange. Yeah. I was like nectarine. Do you have to peel that? (laughs) I didn't know. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> it's grow they grow without fuzz on their skin okay yeah, wow but they are delicious i do not need a peach but a nectarine oh baby damn okay so get into that i don't know why i'm so no i'm so a, i'm all passionate into about it. i'm well it's also the pit of it freaks me out the pits of these things i'm looking at and they look like little brains well you know that's what like an almond looks like you know what i mean like if you if you crack that open it looks like an almond inside fair um i have a a food related question that someone sent to me on instagram yeah yeah yeah. because i asked for questions and then we have just been talking Mm. about (laughs) about you know chin hairs and nectarines okay you ask your food question then i have a food suggestion for us okay m sierra 24 says butter on the counter or in the fridge fridge i know which i think this but i guess you can put it on the counter well right? my my What's the deal with that? my stepmom and dad keep their butter on the counter in a butter holder right so their butter at all times is room temp and that's still good i guess why is it in the grocery store in the free in the refrigerator but then again the eggs in australia are on shelves that's insane that's insane right so like What's what up? What are we supposed to do? What are we supposed to do? How are you supposed to be an adult when these two contradictory things are happening? Now, I don't think you don't leave butter. If you had like multiple sticks of butter, you don't like just leave them out all the time. No. But at any point, there is the newest butter in the butter holder. So yeah. when she goes to like butter her toast or her unfrosted strawberry pop tarts. Yeah. That was her signature for a while. Wow. She butters the top and the butter's already soft. See, that's great because that's lovely. I, I that's wonderful because I'll put it in the microwave and then I'll put it in for too long and then it's just melted butter and yeah. I'm like this is not what I wanted either. So, I want to know if if this is like a cultural thing, like in England do they keep butter butter in a butter I feel holder? Like English people love butter holders. That's what I'm saying. It feels I'm sorry, very that's British. Offensive. I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> sorry. Who keeps butter on the counter? Yeah. Uh, I feel like uh, fairy tale characters and yeah. British people. Okay. According to the Department of Agriculture, mm-hmm. butter and margarine can be stored at room temperature. Okay. But be mindful of a few things. All right. The USDA recommends only leaving out an amount of butter that can be used within two days. After two days, the butter may taste a little rancid. Yeah. yeah. But that you can put it out for two days. Wow good to know that's good to know good to know if you have <laughs> if you're a butter person uh i see that's not worth it to me though no not worth the risk yeah i mean it might be cute i feel like that's what like girls that do homesteading mm, like that's their well jam. they're churning their own that's true i was gonna say that's their jam you can make but your own butter it. just in a mason jar yeah real housewives of salt lake city i know they but had also, a whole episode where meredith was, a, was just churn it couldn't you just shake it couldn't stop shaking her shake way you know butter. who i first saw do that hmm. candy johnson <laughs> really <laughs> yeah she was like i make my own butter and i was like what amazing and i was oh. like of course you randomly make your own butter and you're you're shining your shower head at 1 a.m on a saturday night <laughs> candy so you're crazy small. and the best mom of all time i love her anyway so we learned something today about butter let's be real i do not have the tolerance for drinking that i did before and that's where zbiotics comes into play zbiotics pre-alcohol probiotic drink is the world's first genetically engineered 
probiotic. It was invented by PhD scientists to tackle rough mornings after drinking. Woo, woo, woo. We love when science works for that. Here's how it works. When you drink, alcohol gets converted into a toxic byproduct in the gut. It's this byproduct, not dehydration, that's to blame for your rough next day. Zbiotics produces an enzyme to break this byproduct down. Just remember to take Zbiotics your first drink of the night. Drink responsibly and you will feel your best tomorrow. Look, I won't lie, I was a little bit on the fence about Zbiotics initially, but when you hang out with the one and only Mamrie Hart and she's pumping you full of pump teenies, you give it a shot and believe me, it is the real deal. And now with Super Bowl Sunday just around the corner because of Zbiotics, I'm confident that I can enjoy the game without worrying about how productive I might need to be on Monday morning. So if you're interested, go to zbiotics.com slash TMGW to get 15% off your first order when you use TMGW at checkout. Zbiotics is backed with 100% money back guarantee. So if you're unsatisfied for any reason, they will refund you your money, no questions asked. Remember to head to zbiotics.com slash TMGW. Use code TMGW at checkout for 15% off. Thank you to Zbiotics for sponsoring this episode and our good times. Y'all, it is no shock here that I am a huge fan of Audible. If you haven't tried Audible yet, where the heck have you been for the last, I don't know, decade? Audible lets you enjoy all your favorite audio entertainment in one app, okay? You're gonna find the best of what you love and there's always something new for you to discover. So they got incredible selections of audiobooks across every single genre, okay? I'm talking best sellers. You know when you uh, go to the bookstore and they're sold out? Well, guess what? They're never sold out on Audible. You can always download the new newest, coolest, most popular read. Pop it into your little uh, earbuds and take a nice long walk while listening to your audiobook. It is the best. You've got celebrity memoirs. Hello, the Britney Spears memoir with uh, Michelle Williams reading it. You gotta go listen. You've got mysteries, thrillers, motivation, wellness, business, more. Nothing like popping up a little like motivational book and then getting on the treadmill, baby. Plus, they've got theatrical performances, um, comedy, exclusive audible originals that you're not going to find anywhere else that are made from top celebrities, renowned experts, and exciting new voices in audio. There is so much to listen to. You guys know that Grace and I are trying our best to listen to more books. She just did remarkable young, remarkably bright creatures for barflies. And I'm telling you what, the audiobook of it, incredible. They've got thousands of podcasts from popular favorites to exclusive series. And as an Audible member, you're going to get to choose one title a month to keep from their entire entire catalog, including the latest bestsellers and new releases. Members also get full access to a growing selection of audiobooks, originals, and podcasts. And you can download or stream your titles all you want, okay? And the app makes it so much easy, okay? Listen to anytime, anywhere while traveling, okay? A little audiobook while you're on a plane, nothing better. Maybe you're working out, walking, doing chores, you decide, okay? The only thing that's going to be tough to do is decide what you actually want to listen to because there are so many free options and new members can try audible free for 30 days so what do you have to lose guys okay audible members keep one title a month from the entire catalog new members can try audible now for free for 30 days visit audible.com slash tmgw or text tmgw to 500 500 that's audible.com slash tmgw or text tmgw to 500 500 to try audible for free for 30 days Wow. Okay. Yeah. I had a food suggestion. I was think, I, that I think someone might have suggested this when I asked on Instagram for topics. Um, the way that we ranked eggs. Oh, the, God. You know, We're getting back into this. I think. Have we ranked potatoes? No, but I know. Well, I think we probably have. I'm not totally sure. I know that it has been an at length topic for Tyler Oakley. Yeah. I okay. have it. He's been ranking potatoes. I don't. Well, what, what happens on Twitch? What goes no, on? No, no. <laughs> I feel like this was either an old video that went yeah. really big or it was just a, one of the, you know, psychobabble episodes mm. I listened to that was a major throwback. But I do know it, it was like a major conversation. Do you want to get into it right I, now? Well, I was going to suggest that for next week's episode, we come prepared with we the list. We come prepared with our lists and we see how we stack up with each other. One more. Okay. That one I got. Okay. There we go. That's I my good kn- arm right now. <laughs> 
I mean, I know how much you love mashed potatoes. But, but see, I don't know because I just went on TikTok. I opened the devil's app for a second mm-hmm. and there was this girl making, oh, I forget what they're called now. They're like Belfast potatoes or something. That's not correct. Something with a B. But she basically sliced them, mm-hmm. not all the way through, cooked them like a Hasselback. That's it. Not even with a B, with an H. <laughs> now, have you ever made those before? Never. I've never seen them before. You've never seen a Hasselback potato? No, I just got, I just saw about 45 minutes ago, right before I was supposed to get in my car. It's not in my cookbook. Yeah. But there was a minute there where I was playing with that, with sweet potatoes, and then like with like a bunch of like barbecue sauce and all this stuff, Damn. and calling it rack of yam. That's amazing. But here's, here's, do you want to know the secret to it? What? What you do is you take two so you don't go all the way chopsticks. through. That's what chopsticks. That's chopsticks. That's what she People did. People do it with cucumbers too, to have like cucumber springs. And she made this crazy ass butter. And then she and put it, it in there. Yeah. You she know, put, oh. that was probably room temperature butter. She made it and then she put it in the fridge. Okay. And then she brought it out and she cooked it and it all melted and got into all the little crevices. And it was incredible. And I was like, we absolutely should rank potatoes uh, where we're at right now. Hold on. Well, Hasselback is definitely like a... Uh, under the radar potato like you don't when you go to a restaurant you're not like but chance do you have a hassle back you know what yeah, i mean like it seems like a hassle <laughs> for the back of the house <laughs> yeah so i i'm gonna give you a little homework though okay because we're recording the next episode on saturday yeah i need you to go home and make hasslebacks to know if it's worthy of your rank well, here's what i did and are you gonna do it in the air fryer or in the oven I didn't even think about the air fryer. Yeah, I yeah. didn't even think about bringing that big ass printer out of the closet <laughs> and seeing what it can do. I bring out the printer all the time. Uh, well, what I did this afternoon, I went to radiation. I drove back and I was like, oh, uh, I'm, I want to encourage Elliot to watch The Bachelor with me because he watched yes. the last week's episode. Uh while he played his video game and i'm like it's a psychological to- exercise yeah and he said he wanted to keep watching it with me so Ooh. i was like okay let me just make this like you know really fun for him Cute. so i went to the grocery store and i got steak and potatoes <gasps> and i was like i'm gonna make a romantic meal tonight oh my god i um, love this and we can watch the bachelor and like really like get into it and i bought potatoes so i and then i saw this oh, potato yeah. tiktok thing and i was like <gasps> the possibilities you're gonna make hasselbacks I got to at least try. It looked so good. Absolutely try. Never... What's the worst? You end up chopping it up and just having potatoes. Right, exactly. If the Hasselback doesn't work, what do you do? You throw it in some water and make a skin on mashed potatoes. There you go. It's all right there. But yeah. I'm so excited for this to become like, let's have a date while we watch these people do this crazy shit. Oh, my God. Yeah. Well, what am I going to do while I watch Wait, The Bachelor? You got to figure something it's out. It's also Vanderpump Rules tonight. I know. We guys, we got a big... This might get real episode happening this Friday. Well, oh, yeah, it's going to be a big one. So well, here's the problem, too. Mm-hmm. Well, first of all, let me just say this. Yeah. This has been the longest month of all time. Yes. Yeah, there was five weeks in January. Is that why? I don't know. But this also felt so long. And also, I was just journaling this morning about, like, what happened? Like, it's also been a blur because I've just been well, busier than I normally am. Well, you've had a crazy ass month. Yeah. For me, it's more like I keep going. Oh, remember when I said it was going to be damp January and I'm like, (laughs) it's still January. I mean, I think it changes what tomorrow or Thursday or something. The day after tomorrow. But okay, it's been the longest month of all time. But also like last night I had a lemon drop martini because look, I had my macaroni and cheese. I fell asleep on the couch at like six. Mm -hmm. Chip texted me. I was like, what's up, girl? You know, because he's East Coast. (laughs) He wanted to watch some Survivor. And I was like, whoa, I fell asleep. (laughs) I go, I go, whoa, I fell asleep after I ate some mashed potato- after I ate some macaroni and cheese. He goes, yeah. And then I look at my eye makeup in the FaceTime and it's crazy. And he's like, wow, you're really living it up when I'm not home. I'm in full pajamas. That's just such a funny visual of you eating mac and cheese and then falling asleep and waking up to chip in like you up, girl. <laughs> What's up? Like and it's and it's six thirty or something. And I was like, whoa. And I, he was like, I was gonna see if you want to watch Bachelor. I was like, give me fifteen minutes. Let me get myself ready. I was, um. Let me wake up. I was like, I'm going to make myself a drink. We'll, yeah. uh, we'll, we'll have a little time. He was like, no, you don't have to. I was like, I can't go to sleep at six. Mm-hmm. I have to wake myself up. But so anyway, so in the in the theme of like, oh, God, but I want another drink tonight because now I'm in the mode where I'm like, oh, do I make a pump teeny? Yeah. I have some fresh grapefruits at my house. And that's one of the ingredients is grapefruit juice. Yeah. I mean, it's right there. What? Oh, and I saw, an, this is our food episode and I'm leaning the fuck in because yeah. I love it. I saw um, 
a recipe. It's a New York Times recipe, uh-huh. but then someone posted it on um, on Instagram, and it's like. It's a chicken. Obviously, I would do like an impossible meat or something like that. Uh-huh. Or maybe even like a lentil. It is a, like a Thai meatball soup Ooh. and like a coconut curry broth. Yeah, but you just like nice. put it in the food processor and it's like a bunch of ginger and jalapeno that and lemongrass. Nice. So I was like, maybe I attempt to make like a red lentil ball version of it tonight. Yeah. With a pump teeny. I think you just figured out what you're doing for the evening. Oh, my God. That sounds incredible. Sounds like a good time. Um, did you see that <laughs> Elmo tweeted asking, um, Elmo is just checking in. How is everybody doing? And it was like a storm of depressing. Yeah. But that <laughs> T-Pain responded. Oh, I feel like T-Pain has probably been on Sesame Street several times. Probably. T-Pain responded, I'm just looking for somebody to talk to and show me some love if you know what I mean. To Elmo? To Elmo. Yeah. T-Pain? I don't, I don't know, I don't know what he means in this. I don't either. Are you okay, T-Pain? I hope T-Pain's okay. I mean, with the name with pain. <laughs> but T-Pain's still on Twitter tweeting wow. at Elmo, and I thought that was very funny. That's very sweet. No, I saw that Elmo did it, and everyone just like, it was poor Elmo. It was like uh, Dorinda Gifs being like, not and good, I- bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Which again plays into everyone being like, What's up with how long this month is? Yeah, yeah, I this agree. This is crazy. Um, okay, someone did say on Instagram, someone said, more tea talk. I loved the <laughs> chat about Rubus a couple weeks ago. You guys, oh, I got man. my ass handed to me. Yeah, people went nuts about that. It's Roybus. Roybus, and it's South African. I thought it was Rubus. <laughs> like, look, at the, look, look at the way it's spelled. Yeah, that uh, looks like um like a kid's show name. Rubus. Or I thought it was Rubus. Apparently, it's Roybus. Roybus. A lot of people slid into my DMs and was like, listen up, bitch. <laughs> Don't disrespect my <laughs> tea. But then I got to thinking, Roybus, uh-huh. Roy Bus, great drag king name. Yeah. If you're like, the name's Roy, Roy Bus, and I have the T. Wow, Isn't that's Isn't that good? That's uh, really good. That's really good. Some, <laughs> take that and run with it. Uh, I'm glad you guys are into the tea talk. Yeah. That's what we're into, too. I'm having some tea again, but yeah. I do need to stock back up. So uh, all do recommendations. Get, do you want me to get you a little organizer like I got? Yours looks so good. She's got organizational porn in her kitchen right now. It's the it's only so thing good. that's organized in my entire life is my teas. It lo- I mean, and you did a fantastic job. It Thank you excellent. so much. Thank you so much. Um, I need to-, to go to the grocery store and get stuff to make meatballs. I know. I'm looking at what else is on my list for this week because it's been quite. Oh, did you hear that Stasi and Gypsy Rose Blanchard are related? Really? Yeah. That it's like... Um, this genealogist, Dr. Ad- Adina Newman, who studies and traces reality TV stars' family trees what and a shares her findings. thing to do. Yeah, she said that there's, I know, I was like, how does she do this? There's a distant relationship that uh, Schroeder is 10th cousins once removed with Dee Dee, who is Blanchard's mother. Oh, wow. Yeah. Uh, and she posted this on Instagram and Stasi responded, OMG, I'm unwell. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> you guys, we have not covered any no. of the Gypsy Rose we stuff. We haven't. You know what? That's been, it's, it's going nuts. It done been covered. And then also like, I never watched the stuff to begin with. Like I never saw the I Joey saw King movie. I never watched any of the docs. I started to watch one of the, the like Gypsy yeah. exclusive tells alls um, the other night. And then what happens is I would never watch that stuff during the day. Cause I don't want it to kill my vibe. Yeah. And then when I start to watch it at night, it means chips out of town and then I get scared. So, <laughs> yeah. so then I'm like, never mind. let's put on something silly. Uh-huh. But I have really enjoyed people's impressions of Gypsy Rose on TikTok where she's uh, like the D is fire. Yeah. 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 <laughs> she loves her husband's D. Um, <laughs> we all know about it now. <laughs> that could be Elmo or Gypsy oh, Rose. What you wait, just did. that should be a new game. Yeah, Elmo Gypsy, Gypsy Rose or Elmo. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, oh wait, what Elmo needs to do a lesson on the letter D. I mean oh, like the D is fire. <laughs> 
Yeah. Uh, the other thing someone asked, if, uh, they said, once again, I am asking you to talk about the nine month cruise. Which, I haven't I haven't I, I read haven't done a, anything. On I it. was waiting for radiation. I read a whole Vox article to get oh. caught up on it. It just seems like a lot. There's yeah. so first of all, nine month cruise. Would you ever go on one? First of all, just this month is too long <laughs> to be know. existing. <laughs> Elliot has been trying to get me to agree to a three day cruise and I'm having difficulty. Yeah, and the only way you'll go is if like Weezer's on it or something. Yeah, right? exactly. Yeah. Exactly. No, <laughs> cruises are not my vibe, man. And it might it might be because be because like the only cruise I went on was with the Backstreet Boys cruise in the Mediterranean yeah. and it was well it's a whole chapter in one of my books but then also like it was freezing and raining the yeah. whole time which it's like if you're going to be on a pr- cruise at least let it be like beautiful and sunny yeah but well they're doing nine months that's and so re- why like, all around the world and what's taking off on TikTok and has been like I think even John Green has posted that he's like obsessed with cruise talk because it's like a reality show in real time half of the ship basically are like tiktokers or people that have become oh. tiktokers because that hashtag is going nuts on tiktok and the algorithm is boosting all wait of the can cruise people content. join the cruise that already started yeah because what happened was At in this box article there was some influencer that said someone sponsor me i want to cause chaos on this cruise no. and a someone sponsored him some publisher sponsored him he shouted out a book of theirs and they paid for like 18 days for this guy to go on the cruise and he got like kicked out of things and like people were like no like we hate this wait okay so, so it's like unraveling in real time people have their like main characters that they like people on the cruise know that they are characters in this world they're having like meetups to discuss like things and like this one dad I guess has become like a huge uh influencer are his kids with him he was sending videos to his kids and his kids say it about the cruise updates and they said put this on tiktok and now the guy's got like a hundred thousand followers on tiktok he's just like a dad with his wife enjoying their retirement I okay guess. here's my question so it's just it seems like a lot i haven't gotten into it which is why we haven't talked about it no i know nothing about it but because honestly like just the idea it gives me claustrophobia thinking about it yeah but also this is why I'm confused because when I heard nine month cruise, I, uh, which this is really good for my crispy horse, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. this crazy cruise. Um, so I thought it was like everyone on it is on it for nine months. And now it sounds like you can go come and go as you please, not, but you lose your money or something. I think the majority of the people are on it for nine months. I don't know what the situation of this guy getting on for like a short period of time. I don't know if people get off of it. I, I don't know how it works. I know that the price tag is like 60 grand for nine months at okay. lowest tier and goes up to like 120 or something well, for then, like a better suite or something. My other question for you that you probably don't know. Yeah. Is the, is the novelty of it that it goes to all new places over they're the course going, of nine months. So there's no repeat. They're going to a ton of like a hundred countries or something crazy. Okay, so okay. they're like, I get the appeal of being like, I want to see the world. It's like, you can see the world on this cruise ship. But mm. now because of social media, it's become its own reality television yeah. show. There hasn't been much chaos though, other than this one guy coming in specifically to try and cause chaos. And people were saying like, I don't think people want to jeopardize like their vacations no. or like drama for like TikTok Ooh. fame. Oh, it makes so it. It's a whole thing. They did run out of red wine for a little bit. I would have revolted. Yeah. I would have revolted. <laughs> yeah, you would have jumped overboard. I would have. <laughs> Uh, shot a cannon into our own ship <laughs> yeah. um no but here's here's the thing about like see the world with it yeah uh, chip will clap for this <laughs> is one of his big pet peeves as a uh globe trotter as the uh guinness book of world records yes. uh, referred to him is people who consider themselves having gone to a country when they only like landed there yeah. uh, or like maybe was there for a couple hours people who were like i'm gonna see a hundred countries this year and it's yeah. like that doesn't fucking count yeah i mean they're yeah they're, it's experience like, it they're, it's the loser <laughs> <laughs> this is why you can't go on the cruise you would cause drama no but grace i will say now that like 
you're on the path to recovery. Yeah. And now that we've got nothing to lose. Yeah, I know. I think we should go on Amazing Race. <gasps> what? Oh, my God. I, yeah, every time Elliot and I fuck up doing the simplest things, <laughs> I look at him being like, we could never go on Amazing Race. It would ruin our relationship. I know. I say <laughs> that to Chip, like, too. Unless we, like, truly, truly were like, we're going to have fun we are not winning but we're going to do the best mm. we can and we're we're not going to take it so seriously but um yeah perhaps you know i don't know i'm just th- you know we had an opportunity to yeah. 10 years ago we didn't take it because yeah. we had too much going on and it was too last minute and you but know if they came knocking tomorrow I mean, like, would we do it? I don't know. Ten years ago, I didn't want to have a panic attack on national TV. And currently, I also don't want to have a panic attack on oh, national see, TV. Oh, see, I think ten years ago, but... I wouldn't want to have a panic attack on TV. Now, I would be on TV going, I'm having a panic attack. And just <laughs> down the, the lens of the camera. And, and then... hope it, like, some people relate to it. And then you come back and you get, like, an anxiety medicine oh, I... brand deal. Fuck yeah. <laughs> I'm like shameless, absolutely shameless. It's possible. Hey, it's possible. Oh, man. We'll see. Okay. Well, this is a blast. This was a blast. We have lots <laughs> to watch tonight. I just got really excited about all the reality TV. I'm excited for your potatoes. Yes, I am very excited because we did just buy chopsticks as like a utensil Ooh. for our house. We never had that before. Oh, so, yeah. Now, hold uh, Now, one more question before we go. Of course. Do you have any type of green, Grace? What do you mean? I, I've only heard steak and potatoes. Oh, uh, green beans. Yes. Yay! We have green beans. We have green beans. <laughs> and we have a lot of marijuana. So we will there be great. we go. All right. Well, guys, uh, as I figure out if I'm going to have a pump teeny or not, and mm. she makes steak and potatoes for The Bachelor. Remember, we do have now a second episode every week. Mm. Um, and our fourth episode of This Might Get Real will go up this Friday, where yes. we are going to talk about the second episode of The Bachelor. The premiere episode of this season's Vanderpump Rules Mm -hmm. and also the fourth episode of Drag Race. So if you are into any of those or want to get into any of those, check them out and listen to the pod on Friday. Yeah. And don't forget that we also have a Patreon, which uh, on Sunday just did our Barflies book club live stream. And it was awesome. It was so great. Thank you to everyone that showed up. Um, and now the baton switches to you. Oh, shit. Yeah. I got to finish writing this book before I can read one, but I swear I will. Um, all right. Well, that got weird. Mm-hmm.